Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the movie called Prey. Um, P-R-E-Y as in you were the prey being hunted. So um, I saw the trailer for this a while back and it looked so good. Um, so this is another Predator movie. Now I don't follow the Predator Alien franchises very closely. I think I've only seen one Predator Alien vs. Predator movie. Um, but I love me a good monster movie, um, and I also love Native Americans. I love learning about them. I love historical fiction and fiction, non-fiction books that talk about them, that teach about them. Um, Immortal has a very, a lot of different Native American, um, time periods and story arcs and stuff like that, like Crazy Horse in particular, and the Lakota, the Sioux, um, in... The Great Plains and stuff. So the fact that this was set in the 1700s uh, in a Native American tribe being attacked by a predator was like a new genre blend that I didn't know I needed and now I need more. But as far as I know, this is the only movie in that genre. So if you know of any Native American monster movies, let me know in, in the comments below, please, please, I need more. So um, this will be a non-spoiler review. But I do want to pre premise my whole review by saying this is a very violent movie. Um, I don't remember what it's rated, but this was violent enough that it was at the edges of what I can handle, basically. Um, anyways, as I was saying, this movie is extremely violent, and it's on the edges of what I myself can handle, and I'm very... Um, desensitized to violence. It doesn't really bother me a whole lot. This one had some scenes that I was like, you know about so I just want to premise this so if you're sensitive to violence probably isn't a good movie for you although this movie had one or two jump scares I expected a lot more um but it didn't have as many jump scares or actual scary elements to them as I was expecting it had more violence than anything um so let's get into this so um this was a wonderful movie and it had really good storytelling it had very good character arcs i loved naru the main girl um she's a the little sister in the tv show roswell um so she's a very good actress i loved her brother tabi i think his name was um the dynamic between them and how he's this perfect hunter who's really good at what he does the kind of the golden child so to speak and she uh, they ha they're very close, but she is jealous of him in the sense that she's not a good hunter, but she wants to be. So I love the, the brother-sister dynamic there, um, that where they're close, but there's also a little bit of rivalry there that was really realistic. And I love the premise with her character, which is that she wants to be a good hunter and isn't. And she wants to do the great hunt, which is to prove herself as a warrior, a kats, um, katunan, uh, kat Katutania or something like that. I can't pronounce it, so forgive me. Um, the uh, the Native American tribe that they used in this movie was the, I want to say the Cheyenne. I may be wrong on that, um, but I think it was the Cheyenne. Um, so a couple of things that did bother me. Um, yeah, so the brother-sister dynamic, dynamic and the character arc with Naru, so, so good. The action scenes were absolutely epic. I mean, that this was like prime action sequence it was so exciting so thrilling it just it it kept going and kept going it was so great but it had enough beats um where there was like break beats you know so to speak where you have a moment to breathe but then it's like right back in it um predator was super um exciting and my husband was commenting about how this was a different style predator than what we've seen in the past so i liked that it was a little primitive but still technologically advanced where it was kind of cool um i loved the setting and the time period um so one of the the two things that did bother me um one was that they most of the time they spoke english they did have a few cheyenne words in the tribe um and i think it was kind of implying like they did in avatar 2 where they were speaking in their own language so so, but it just some of the accents they use contractions like gonna wanna you know don't and you know all that other stuff so they didn't sound hold on there's something else anyways so the Native American characters that didn't have a Native American accent that felt or sounded authentic but I think they were trying to imply that they're speaking uh, their language the entire time um, but there was one scene where she's talking with a French trader and they're speaking English and I'm not sure where she learned English, but that's kind of a minor thing. The other, so, but I was able to kind of let that go and, 
ignore it for the sake of the story. So that wasn't like, that was kind of a minor critique. My biggest issue was, I think, if I remember right, they set this in the early 1700s and the French trader, and it mentioned it was in the Northern Great Plains and French traders and anybody like that was not in the Great Plains at that time period. It was in the late 1700s when it really started to become more common to see, for, you know, French traders especially come through. Um, and then... So that kind of bothered me a little bit, but they needed the French traders there for the sake of the story, which I'm not going to spoil for you. So it was a little historically inaccurate, but it was still a really, really good movie. And honestly, for me, I'm going to rate this a five-star movie because it was so good. As I said, it is very violent, so it was on the fringes of what I myself can handle in a violent type movie, like my style of violence, like the, own, like the fringes of what I can handle. Um, it was very thrilling, exciting, action-packed. Um, it was definitely intense, but we had so much fun watching it and it was just really good. I like, I can't get over the action sequences and how cool and exciting and thrilling they were. Like it kept you on the edge of your seat and I was like squeezing my blanket cause I was like, ah, the whole time. And then, um, uh, where else was I going with that? It was just really exciting to watch. And honestly, it's in, it's like this new genre of Native American historical stuff mixed with like monster movies or action thrillers. And it's like, I need more movies like this. And it's just like, oh man, I need more, you know? Um, so it's really good. And I was so, like, I, I, we got attached to the characters and it was like f strong female lead in a way that is done well, which I'm probably going to do a movie um, not a movie. I'm probably going to do a video talking about strong female characters done right on my channel if I haven't already. Um, cause I feel like it's these days it's hard to get those type of, that character trope right, but this one nailed it. And the other thing that I liked was how creative some of the plans were. Like usually when you have an action movie, there's a plan on how to defeat the enemy in this case, Predator. Um, and some of the creative plans that were done was super creative. Um, it did have a lot of other fight scenes too with other animals and stuff and the survival aspect as well was really on point and really thrilling and exciting. It did kind of like I could see how people could think that maybe it was a little slow at first but I feel like it was necessary to build up the tension like there was so much tension leading up to the big explosive moment that it was just it made it very very tense and explosive when it happened so overall five star movie I need more like this if you know any let me know in the comments below have you seen Prey what do you think of it um so if you know any movies like this please let, let me know in the comments below because I need more like this was not enough this was so good I need more um and have you seen this movie if so, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below, as well as if you've been following along with the franchise, what do you guys think of it? And if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more writing and reading videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In the meantime, if you liked my review of this movie, then check out my review of The Meg 2, The Trench. That was another action thriller movie, in this case, Sharks instead of Predators. Um, and it was actually still really interesting and action-packed, although that movie did have some issues, so check out my review to find out all about that.